guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a review of this foundation this foundation is the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream i will put all of the um technical information about the foundation here so you guys can see everything about it i wanted to do a review on it because i've seen a lot of people talk about it and say how much they love it but they didn't give like a good explanation of it they just said oh my god it's amazing it's full coverage it's beautiful so i'm just like okay i want to give a full review because i want y'all to know like why this is amazing i mean it is amazing but i want to tell you why i'll give you the pros and cons and tell you why i don't like it why i do like it all of that stuff i'm also going to give you a real time look at how well this holds up so i put this foundation on um when did i put it on i put it on around four o'clock and it is now 5 30. Um, that lets you guys know how long it takes for me to get prepared for a video. Um, but I did film myself putting on the foundation and I will put the exact time that I put it on. But I think I put it on around 4 o'clock. Then I will come back later tonight, before, right before I take off my makeup. I won't blot it. I won't do anything. No edit, no filter. And let you guys see how it holds up. So for those of you who may be new to my channel, hey what's up, how you doing? Hey, my name is Zicky. I have oily combination skin. I have acne prone skin. Most of the time I am like a golden olive color, usually around the caramel side. So my matte color would be be an NC43 in between an NC43 and NC45 moving on to the foundation so this foundation runs for I believe $40 considered a high-end foundation it is not drugstore or by any means inexpensive it is kind of pricey it's one ounce of foundation so standard pretty standard size most foundations come in a one ounce bottle um, I've been wearing this foundation for a month now I've worn it on like a regular day when I'm not really wearing a full face like a full beat, you know? And then I've worn it on the beatest of beat days where I needed to look absolutely flawless all night long. And it has not failed me in any arena. One thing I will say is it is not, it is not for the lighthearted, okay? If you don't like full coverage foundation, this one is not for you because it starts off on 100. If you don't like full coverage because of the feeling of full coverage, you will like this because it is full coverage but it doesn't feel like full coverage when you wear it like i literally feel like i have nothing on my face right now extremely comfortable to wear like if you ever worn um studio fix fluid and you like the coverage of studio fix fluid but you don't like the feeling of studio fix fluid because it literally feels like paint sitting on your face this is the opposite it does kind of have that paint smell it's not a heavy paint smell it smells like makeup but it doesn't feel like makeup it doesn't feel like foundation on your face like it's very ooh. It's just so light weight. It definitely covers well. So I have a lot of dark spots and pigmentation. I have large pores and I have oily skin. So I mean, all those combinations are just not good for really heavy foundations because what I find is the heavier the foundation is, the more my skin likes to be oily. The darker my spots are, it, the more foundation I have to put on. But I do like this foundation because I only have to use one layer of this. I don't even have to color correct with this foundation, which is awesome because I hate color correcting. I hate that extra step. I just feel like it's so unnecessary. It makes the foundation look orange. And I don't like looking orange when I'm not orange. Like I'm a yellow, I'm not an orange, okay? So me looking orange underneath my foundation just doesn't work out. It's not, it doesn't neutralize the color for me. It just looks orange. So I don't have to do a lot of extraness. I don't have to layer it. I don't have to use color corrector. I don't have to pack on concealers and all this stuff to cover up my dark spots. It just lays, honey. It lays and it slays. It lays and it slays. Lay and slay. Hashtag lay and slay. I like that I don't have to use as much foundation because I don't have to literally cake it on to get it to do what I want it to do. The perfect color. Oh my god. Okay, so first of all, let me just say I can appreciate, okay, a makeup brand that comes out with an adequate shade range that isn't just 50 shades of beige and three dark colors. All the dark colors are too orange. I don't like when brands skimp out on the darker skinned women. Like we like makeup too, okay? So I can appreciate a good brand that has a good selection of shades. That makes me happy, makes you happy, makes all of us happy. The, the shade that I did pick, um, which is amber, is just flawless. It's, it's per like, do you see my neck, okay, and you see my face? You see the transition? Like, it's it's magic. It doesn't look too gray on me. It doesn't make me look dark. It doesn't make me look too tan. It doesn't make me look too yellow. It's just the perfect mix of caramel, olive, deepiness, perfection, 
melanin on fleek. I'm happy about it. And another thing that I look for in a foundation is separation because I have oily skin and my, my pores are kind of large. It makes it harder for my foundation to sit on my face all day. Like throughout the day, sometimes foundation will slip and fall. It'll start taking a tumble, you know, disintegrating, moving around, especially because I'm very animated, okay? So I do a lot with my forehead, okay? I do, I do a lot of that. I have a lot of separation issues, especially in my forehead region, my laugh lines, and my nose area because I do a lot of like dabbing my nose. I haven't noticed any movement. I haven't noticed any separation, you know, moving around and stuff. I haven't noticed that at all. So cons, 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 cons. Only con I can say is the, is the nope. price of the foundation. I think that's the only con. And it's not the best if you don't want a full coverage look. Like nope. sometimes I do want a light coverage. You can sheer it down like with a, using a beauty blender and all of that, but it's not, it's full. It's just full. It comes with a pump, which is cool. Well, Becca's packaging, period, is always really, really nice. I just don't like foundations um, that come in bottles like this because you never know how much is left in there. You can screw it off, but the pump doesn't go all the way down. Curious to see how this will do once I start running out. I don't know if it's gonna actually get everything out of there, um, but I'm pretty sure you can just shake it out if you wanted to. I will come back and give you guys the verdict on how it holds up, but obviously I've been wearing it for a month, so I already know how it holds up. It holds up great, but I'm gonna just show you guys anyway because I know you guys like to see the time check. It is 5.47 and I will come back to you in a couple of hours and let you guys know what time it is. So I'll come back and let you guys know how it holds up. Peace out. Okay, so I'm back. It's 10.30. I wanna show you guys what my makeup looked like after like six hours yeah so it still looks pretty good if you ask me and it still looks pretty decent i mean the only thing would be my nose of course my nose needs to be blotted got a light bulb situation going on here other than that it's still intact it's still on my face i'm sleepy so my eyes are like drooping let's go take all of this off and do adult things that is it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like reviews, let me know and I'll do more for you. And um, let me know what you guys want me to review next. I will um, see you guys in my next video. Talk to you guys later. Bye.